What is the price of power? What is the price of strength? When we were small and weak, supposed allies circled like sharks with promises of wealth and power. But now, now we are strong. The sharks cower away, and those that promised us power plot our very downfall. Well, I say, let them try. For we have the glorious armies of Thrace, and we will crush them, and let them know the cost of betrayal. Hi guys, and we are back with the Adrissian Kingdom in RCR Imperium Serectum. Last time, we took out the Histrians, and then we went on to fight Tylus. Tylus did manage to take back this settlement, Thomas, over here, but we have an army ready to go. We also beat back the Maidy as well over in this direction, and we are going to take them out. That might put us to war with the Antigonid Kingdom and maybe the Dentalate and Paeonia as well, but Paeonia is our protectorate at the moment, which is very good for us because that kind of protects this border at the minute. So uh, yeah, that'll be really good if we can uh, take out the Maidy, the Dentalate, and just kind of stabilize here. Maybe look at attacking the Antigonids, but I'm not 100% certain on that. But anyway, guys, I think we're at the end of the turn. So uh, let's press the end turn and we'll be ready to go. And here we are, guys. It looks like the army has run away. So we are going to siege down Thomas ourselves. They've got horse archers in there. That is one thing that we're going to have to be quite wary of. And a lot of these settlements are quite well protected. So we're going to have to just try and take out maybe the smaller ones, force them to gather an army at some point as well. And then over here, what are the Maidy doing? They've actually done nothing. So uh, yeah, let's... Uh, okay, there we go. We're going to push them back. They've gone into the settlement and let's siege that down as well. What are you? You are horse archers and something else. What do I want out of these two? Probably the horse archers in this army, and then the noble cavalry can come and just chill. Very nice indeed. And what do we have for our notifications? We've got a path block, that's fine. Axe bitten for Brinkinos over here. He's just literally the one that's in Adrissa. So I don't know. How did he get that? <laughs> um. This man is beginning to frighten people just by his menacing presence. Fair enough. Anything interesting on here? No, not at all. And yeah, we're recruiting in Istria some Akantistai and in Kabile some archers. So that is actually fantastic because that is going to be our garrison troops. You can get in there. We might as well actually send all of these boys into, um, into there as we can. And then over here we have those boys. Hmm... Yeah, we'll just send them. We'll just send them up. I uh, I mean the Thracians are our ally right now, but I don't <laughs> I don't trust them one bit at the moment. Let's go for the market in Suthopolis. Now we can actually get Romfire Foroi over here too. Very nice. Anything else to build? We're gonna build from the bottom this time and just see what we can get. Um I think we'll go for the sewers or Game. Nothing worth building there. And then Istria itself, probably the tavern. There we go. And then I don't think we've got money for anything else. So uh, let's end the turn again, guys. And Paeonia wants to cancel the Protectorate. So let's give them a Protectorate ultimatum. The and they accept proposal. it straight away. Nice. And here we go, guys. Tylus has managed to uh, siege down Istria. They are putting together a few troops. Not a huge amount. I would have really liked if that of if that had stood next to the city so we could have done a draw out battle honestly um but that's fine no problem with that at all we've also got this settlement how many turns until that i'm honestly just like over this side we can just chill really i'm not bothered too much about fighting this so yeah although it should be rather easy to take that settlement first things first though let's get into uh, thomas over here we've got five rams that's quite a few they've got horse archers as well but the rest of their army should just die very, very easily against what we've got. The Celtic Swordsman will put up a little bit of a fight. But honestly, it should be nice and easy. So uh, let's get going. Well, we've set up on this right-hand side, guys, where we could only get to about here. Uh, because this has the, uh, the lovely way in. Uh, where you can fire over this way. So that's what we're going to do rather than trying to fight through the streets this way as we normally do a lot of the time well the walls are down now guys so we are just going to get into the city 
Going to bring these boys forward. They are the experienced boys in our army. We've got we've got a couple of guys that are less experienced. Hopefully this wall gets destroyed very soon so we can go through that way. There we go. Very nice indeed. And let's see if we can get into this Celtic cavalry here. There we go. These guys should be able to kill the Galatian archers no problem too. It shouldn't be an issue. And yeah, they've got a lot of troops just sort of spread out. Dacian horse archers over here. Ah, also, I have been doing this, so we need to do that. There we go. Now we can actually see the uh, the, the the banners for the boys. Um, so, yeah. Let's uh, let's come down this way. Let's just get there. Let's get the long spearmen ahead. Ready to go. And then we'll bring in sort of the rest of the boys as well. Oh, we've got the Celtic Light Cavalry here as well. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I thought they'd broken. All gone the other way. Um, but there we go. We've killed a lot of them. Nice. How many troops do we have here? Let's just group all those boys together. And there we go. We're going straight into the general's bodyguard. I'm happy to do that. That is not a problem of uh, for me. Let's bring these boys up this way. Let's also bring these boys up this way. And potentially the generals too. There we go. And as you can see, this is pretty much just a, a pile on over here. We've got the horse archers and the general. Honestly, we should be able to beat them rather easily. I do fear we'll take a few losses with the Ronfire Foroid. Although, um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? General-wise, we're going to get our generals around this way to see if we can uh, break them in the back. They look like they're about to fire some jabbies. Yes, they are. There go the Celtic swordsmen. And that might have that might have been part of the reason why their general has died there. So, um... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of funny if that's the case. Let's get these guys up here. We're going to bring you guys around. And we're going to send you up to there. Come on, boys. Don't run weird ways. Just path properly, boys. Just path properly. And, yeah, I'm thinking our general can just deal with the rest of this. No problem at all. Just They just need to get a bit of a move on because they are going quite slow. Come on, boys. Let's go. And then these guys should... Oh, they broke. They broke. Go, go, go. Go, men, go. We should be faster than the Celtic uh, the Celtic swordsmen. Come on, men. Go, go, go. We should be faster. Doesn't look like we're going to be that fast, though. <laughs> so uh, the rest of us will just come and stand up here. And, uh, yeah, let's go and kill the rest of that general. Ooh, and these guys can actually fire on the Celtic swordsmen from over here. So hopefully that's going to bring them round. If that does... We can then just charge them this way. I'm thinking, yeah, let's just, just get in there. We don't need to mess around too much, do we? Well, there we go, guys. I was just about to say, let's charge the Celtic swordsmen. But uh, we didn't even need to. They they routed and the other guys just died. So, uh, yeah, pretty easy victory. Nice. Tylus, you have taken uh, Thomas offers and we have taken it back. Roy got the praise to be glorious once again. And I think we will just occupy Thomas because there's no point... In doing anything dodgy there. They do have that shrine to Aveta over here. So let's get rid of that. I didn't even realize that. Unless, I, I guess Tylus must have built that. Let's also go for the tavern in here. And let's also leave straight away. We're going to leave behind an Akontistai. And we're going to just go north. How are they? Okay. Just about happy enough. <laughs> let's attack them. They should die. And then I'm going to attack this, and I'm going to hope that they decide to come and attack us. They have enough troops to think that they're going to be good enough to do it. So, uh, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, boys. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. I, I don't think they will think they're hard enough, though. That's the one problem. And then over here with the Maidy, I think we'll just chill. We'll take it nice and slow. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take it relatively chill, I think. I don't think we need to go after Skaptopara. We can just chill out. The, the slower we take it, the less likely we are going to be to fight the Antigonids earlier. So that, of course, is a good thing. We can go fast against Tylus, though. That is not a problem. A lot of these settlements, we really don't have much to build in them. So we're just going to build what we can, and that should be everything. Well, let's end the turn again, guys. Well, there we go. Tylus decided not to come and attack us, which, again, is very annoying because 
Oh, I don't want to do these siege battles. I want to, I want to field battles. Just put your armies together, Tyler. Like, look how many troops you have. If you put them together, you would have a decent force to try and challenge us. But no, you're going to send little shitty armies around like an idiot. <laughs> so stupid. Like, why? <laughs> it makes no sense. Uh, but yeah, who knows the mind of the AI? Certainly not me anyway. Um, right then, let's uh, bring these boys up this way. This is an army that's not even led by a general as well. Ooh, we got uh, keep, uh, level 4 recruitment in Kabile. That's awesome. That is genuinely very good for us. Let's build that so we can retrain Romfire Foroy there. That's sort of a northern operating base, I guess. And now we can get uh, the... Oh, we can't get the Dai Swordsman because we don't have level 3 barracks there. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Aegisos got this... So that should allow us to recruit some troops when we build some barracks and all, all that sort of thing. Um, right then. Let us get into this battle again, guys. And I'll probably edit it down quite a bit because you've already seen a very similar battle. But let's go. Well, I keep forgetting that, of course, these aren't uh, Greek or Thracian style settlements. So, yeah, it should be even easier than the last battle, which will be nice and good. And they actually have this Celtic dismounted general here. He's got 19 morale, 16 melee attack, and 44 defense with a lot of armor. So hopefully the Romfire 4 should be a good sort of deterrent to that. Let's get our long spearmen in through the gates to start with. There we go. Very nice. And hopefully they can just sort of block off this area. There we go. Perfect. And here come the Celtic swordsmen. Let's go. I think we can fully surround these boys. And then what else do they have? They've got some skirmishers. They've got their spearmen up there as well. That's not a problem. I think we're going to do a very good job over here. Let's also get our general in. We, we can uh, sort of chill with our general over here, can't we? And instantly these guys just broke. Wow, 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 wow. So what I think we'll do is we'll bring them all in. And uh, see if we can uh, get them all up here. Why is some of them running up there? <laughs> what is that? What is that? What, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> that makes no sense. There we go. No, no, they're still doing it. Okay, whatever. Oh, here's some Galatian swordsmen as well. I didn't even see these boys. Um, yeah. There we go. Let's see if we can uh, can deal with them. That should be easy. And while uh, while we're doing that, we've got our guys coming up here to uh, try and drag some of these boys off the town square. Let's uh, let's charge down the Galatian swordsmen. That would make sense why some of our men were sort of dying while they were running along, and I was unsure why. <laughs> but I didn't even see those boys. And, uh, yeah, they should be nice and easy to kill here. Come on. There we go. Instantly broken. Nice. Well, here we go. Big charge from the town square for these boys. We should be able to, uh, to break all these guys. What I'm going to do is keep them on uh, guard mode so that they don't keep on crushing forward. And uh, we'll bring these boys in here as well. There we go. Hopefully they all path okay, apart from this guy who decides that it's best to go around there rather than through the much shorter way, but oh well. Well, we are basically just breaking all of them now. So what I am going to do, I think, uh, yeah, we'll just let our guys fire their javis. We might as well uh, kill most of them with our javis without having to get into the action. So yeah, let's keep on firing and uh, see what we can do then we'll all just charge in right then final charge guys let's get into the fight here why won't you charge there we go get into the fight here we go boys let's go and uh should be not guys charge would be good charge maybe what are they doing why aren't they charging there we go strange Okay, but uh, that should be an easy victory now, boys. Well, there we go. We only lost 93 men again. Very nice indeed. Some glorious little gameplay there. Fantastic. Very nice. Absolutely glorious. And it's not very populated, so I am just going to occupy it. A lot of these sort of Celtic areas are going to be really low population. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to occupy it. That should also mean that this guy doesn't want to take Istria anymore. So let's gather our men and see what we can do. How happy are they, by the way, as well? 90%, very good. And I'm going to just skip these settlements that have um, more, more people in. First things first, though, we're going to knock them off there. And then what I'm going to do, we're going to go siege down this one. And then we're going to join the army up with it so that it will actually siege. 
you guys can join up there too. These guys have been knocked back. I don't really... I just want to gather them all into one big army so we can fight them all, but it looks very much like they don't want to do that. Fair enough if they don't, but hopefully though, that's kind of strange they seized down Odessos because it wasn't actually bordering them. Oh no, it was, it was. We've just taken this settlement, haven't we? So yeah, it was actually bordering them. Um, let's build sort of law, I think, up here. Shrine to Hero, because if we have a look, yeah, there's a significant amount of corruption in the north here because it's quite far away from our capital. That's fine. And we are going to keep Adrissa our capital. We may even at some point move it to Suthopolis for a bit of thematic glory. But um, Adrissa for now is going to be our capital. Anything else we want to build then this turn, guys? Arubayon over here. Hmm... Yeah, just like taverns and all that sort of thing. All good. But anyway, guys, let's end the turn there. Oh, dear, guys. This is not what we wanted or needed. The Seleucids have come and betrayed us. I knew this was going to happen at some point, but that is genuinely awful. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, the Seleucids have sieged us down at Adrissa with a very good army. One was with Chalcospides, with elephants, all that sort of thing. Um, we've also been sieged down up here as well. I don't mind re-losing that. So what I think we probably need to do is we need to take this out, bring this army back to fight the Seleucids. Like, basically just take the Seleucid lands that we border so that they cannot attack us anymore because there's a, there's a big chance now that basically because they've betrayed our alliance and attacked us that they're just going to bring like four full stacks like because the ai just focuses on the player it doesn't it doesn't act rationally like a like a player would um so yeah um the following factions have broken their alliances i mean it should be us as well the solutions i'm sure the solutions were were allied with us weren't they like why did they break their alliance um, why didn't they break their alliance on that turn? Maybe I've missed it. I must have missed it. But first things first, though, let's just auto-resolve this. Should be easy. 102. Hmm. Slightly more than I would have liked. Let's enslave. Let's take these units. You guys go in there, and they're happy enough. Is there any mercenaries? There are lots of mercenaries. Well, we definitely want to take some mercenaries if we can. Horse archers would be good, but there isn't any horse archers, unfortunately. Just any any archers in general would be good because, of course, we're going to have to fight elephants. Um, also, do we want Rumfire Foroy or do we want Hippocontistai? Like, Pionian Cavalry is quite decent. Hmm, yeah, because we don't really have that much melee cavalry, so I think we'll do that. Let's now come back down. Do they have a ram? The problem is they don't have a ram yet, but they could break down the gates with their elephants if they really wanted to. <sighs> that's that's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. We're going to have to lose this. And yeah, so let's get into this fight at least, guys. And then what we're going to have to do is basically just, I don't know, we'll either leave that or just let the Maidy retake it. And then we're going to have to bring our guys through here to start taking out these Seleucid settlements along the coast here and that is going to put us bordering the antigonids anyway so yeah let's get into this fight though first and let's go well now we are in all that's left really to kill is a rumfire four unit um, and then the rest is cavalry so hopefully we can kind of bait the cavalry into our long spearmen over here and then kill the rumfire four with the rest of our boys Let's get over this way, and then the Romfire Foroy. Let's bring them through two. There we go. Fantastic. Let's also bring the Horse Archers around this way uh, and see what we can do. Well, here we go. Here comes the Hippocontistai. We are going to catch them. Very nice indeed. Let's just speed this up now. We don't need to... Oh, my God. The Long Spearmen just all broke against Hippocontistai. Are you joking me? How did they break so easily? <laughs> well, that is embarrassing, really, isn't it? That is really embarrassing. And uh, what we need to do now is get these guys up this way. And there, instantly, the long spearmen. Why are they breaking? They just don't like fighting cavalry units, it would seem. Well, that's incredibly, incredibly annoying, honestly. Why are they running into them? 
Stop running into them. Let's kill this uh, this guy and let's bring our guys through too. There we go. At least the run fire four are not breaking. But uh, the long spearmen, that is embarrassing from them. Like, genuinely awful. I know they are a trash unit, but yeah, that was more trash than even I expected. I'd like you to kill the light lancers. There we go. Come on, boys. Fire, fire, fire. See what we can do. Hopefully, you can also fire at them. If they're going to charge off the town square, that's good for us. There we go. Come on, boys. We should be able to beat them rather easily. And then over here, we are pretty much just surrounding them. There we go. And we actually have a long spearman that didn't decide to die. <laughs> Which is good. Bit of a mess, though, over here, isn't it? But the light lancers should die very easily. What are you guys doing? Why are you running away? Just get there. If you're going to run away, get there. We'll put you on fire at will. Well, there goes their general. Should be nice and easy to kill them now. And then what we'll do, we'll get these guys out of here ASAP. We'll allow these guys to fire into them. Guys, get out. Did I say stay in? No, I said get out. So maybe you should do that. There we go. Very nice. Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listening would be good. It definitely would be good. Uh, I think a big part of it is that this general is not yet very experienced. Because, like, even this Romfire 4 I just, just routed. So I'm assuming he has, like, some bad sort of uh, morale debuffs on him. But uh, that's fine. We are basically going to kill the rest of them really easily now. So, um, yeah. Let's go. Let's just get in there. Well, there we go. That was incredibly more painful than it needed to be because of the breaking... Uh, the breaking long spearman, but oh well, oh well. Uh, we now know that this general doesn't have very good morale, so hopefully you can get some bonuses as we go forward. <laughs> and I think we just occupy Scaptopara over here, no problem. What is that that they have? Shrine to Artemis. Uh, that's okay. We'll leave that in there. Let's take all of these guys out apart from, you know, a couple of these boys. Let's see. Um... Let's see if we can maybe, you know, gather up a few more troops. So, yeah, if we just leave 28 behind, is that enough? It is plenty enough, actually. And you guys are going to come back through this way. Hopefully, you can join them. And we're going to go after probably Tirada first. These boys are still on the way. We've got no money because, of course, we have, uh, yeah, uh, taken a load of mercenaries. <laughs> Let's just auto-sort them as well. Hmm. Only one archer is a bit of a worry to fight the elephants. And obviously the Chalka Speeders are going to be horrible to fight. And of course they have a Gira Speeders, which are the elite uh, pikemen. But yeah, very strange, very strange. Um, can't say I wasn't really expecting it though, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so yeah, do we just go here? I think we just go there and see if he will... Um, break off the siege for no reason, which would be quite good for us, honestly. Oh, we've got a Romfire Foroy there. That's... Oh, we've got two Romfire Foroy. Ah, yes, because we were going fast, so we actually do need to uh, to swap them out. I completely forgot about that. Well, we'll build another unit in here next turn, and then we'll use these boys to swap out the Romfire Foroy over there. And down here, we've just got to hope that the elephants... Um, don't get going. Well, I was just thinking the other thing we could do is gather a load of mercs together over this way and use them, like, and just plop them here. So in case they do attack, we'll have enough to kill the elephants. So what we will do, I'll go around. I'll find some areas where we think we're not going to recruit from, like Thomas, for example, and get rid of a load of the military buildings there and then see um, what we want to do. Desperate times very much do require desperate measures, guys, don't they? Well, everything's cleaned up. We did manage to get quite a bit of money, so let's see what we want. We want cavalry mainly would be good. That costs a lot of money. But can we just take all of these? We can, just about. Um, is there anyone that's spare that we can put in there just for the time being? I don't think so. So we're just going to have to risk it, and we're going to have to go and stand here. And hopefully, if the elephants do attack, we'll have enough to at least just kill the elephants so that they can't take the city. 
Oh, right then, let's uh, let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see what happens. And they run away. They run away. That's interesting. I don't know why they think... Okay, they've gone straight for the attack here. That's fine. We'll just end the... Uh, end the t uh, auto resolve that. That's not a problem. If we can keep the elephants inside the city, that'd be good. <laughs> but yeah, strange, strange stuff from the Seleucids. And the Maidy wants to become our protector. Absolutely, oh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take that. And Kaidonia is destroyed, guys. So... What do we do here? That's the question. Um, what do they have in some of these areas? Like, not much. Honestly, not much. So, can you guys reach Abdera? No, you can't. So, I think what we'll do, we will go and siege down Abdera first. It does on the coast as well, so it is probably a richer settlement. Let's make sure that we stick our general back into Coralopolis. And then, with these boys, where do we want to siege? I mean, that would be a good one because that one looks relatively easy. So, uh, yeah, Lysomachia, that would also stop them coming across here. And we could just defend it with the mercs that we do have. With these boys, we are going to siege down Madu Tenopolis. Luckily, that wasn't a recruitment hub for us. And now we can actually see their army. And, yeah, we're not going to we're not gonna go... I don't think we'll get into the city on this. It's only six turns and hopefully they all sally out, but... And yeah, let's uh, let's do some building and let's go off the top this time because, of course, we uh, we need to. Let's go for the sewers there, Suthopolis. Let's go for the tavern, and then yeah, we're we're about right with everything else. We've still got some money though, so I would like to build something else. Philippopolis. Let's go for the tavern then. Glorious. Well, that has worked out rather well. I know it's a, a bit of a shame that we didn't get a, a field battle with these guys, but hopefully they pop out of the city. That'd be good to see. Um, oh, and we can actually do this. Oh, that, that army's full. Ah, well, <laughs> just come back. <laughs> that was silly of me. But oh, well, let's, uh, let's end the turn there, guys. Well, this is the main issue now. We are just at the mercy of Tylus up here. So um, let's uh, accept that candidate for adoption again. We definitely do need more of those boys. And we can start managing these cities properly. Like, Odessus is a decent city. We might as well have someone in there. And then we can actually use these guys for garrisoning somewhere else. You are a Romfire Foray, aren't you? So, yeah, same thing with you. Let's come down. Let's keep coming down with you. And then we might even have a third army sometime soon. Um, but yeah, uh, we did get you in Odessos. Let's come down to... Uh, what I might do is actually garrison you in Tylus for now, just to put off them from doing too much. We are going to lose some settlements to Tylus in this time while we are fighting off the Seleucids. But yeah, I mean, what can you do, guys? What can you do? The Seleucids have attacked. This is also 114 men lost. Yeah, that's stupid, but oh well. Um, <laughs> let's leave behind um, this 44 long spearmen. Is that enough to keep them happy? It is plenty enough. Let's go straight on to Tirada and let's watch them kill 114 men again when we also resolve that one. <laughs> let's repair this. What is that? Temple of Hera, which gives law. We will delete that for the time being. It's going to make them slightly unhappy. But we will get our own temple in here of Dionysus. We don't need law in there because it's close to our capital. And uh, trait increase. Increase Bastiliques is an attuned governor. Uh, very nice. And we got a Seleucid noble, actually, for Uga says This guy. Uo Logaises. What a name. <laughs> Easy for me to say. And yeah, I am slightly disappointed they didn't sally out of here. But <sighs> oh well, what can you do? Um, and let's keep on building then. Scaptopara doesn't need anything. Um, Diopolis over here, again, doesn't really need anything. I'm hesitant to build the paved roads, guys, because there isn't too much benefit to them. I'll build that road there. But yeah, there's nothing really beneficial in these small places. We need them to upgrade ASAP, really, um, to actually be able to start building something good in them, because there's nothing really of interest to us in most of these. Like the taverns, we'll take the taverns, though. So let's go for that. And yeah, what else? Oh, look. Hello, Dardanians. What are you doing? Oh, they do actually. The Dardanians do border us here. <laughs> well, that means they're going to attack us, doesn't it? 
Oh, God, guys. Like, I know there's not been a lot of battles in this one. Like, big field battles and stuff. But this has been a horrible one. Like, just tactically, it's been not good. Because, like I said before, this is the risk of this area. Is the fact that you just have to bounce around all over the place. And fight so many different enemies. Like, it's it's crazy. Luckily, Bessapara is not that important to us. So, yeah, we might have to do the same thing here and get a load of mercs to fight off the Dardanians. But that looks like a, a very healthy army. So, yeah, we might have to send this army back to deal with it. That is a decent, decent army nonetheless. So, I think that could beat that. But, yeah, we want to kill Tirada first. We basically just want to make sure they don't have any land that borders Adrissa. Because, like I said, if we lose Adrissa, all is lost, guys. Because our level 5 recruitment is destroyed. And then it'll be so hard to build that back up. Um, and we'd only have, basically, Suthopolis and Kabile that can actually recruit our decent units anymore. Oh, maybe Coralopolis as well, but that's fine. So, uh, let's end the turn again, guys. And let's see what happens. And, as expected, Dardania attacked. Stupid idiots. And Chersonesos is destroyed now as well. And once again, the Seleucids did nothing. That's fine by me. Like I said, let's uh, also auto-resolve this. 210 that time. Stupid. <laughs> I, I mean, luckily it's all the long spearmen that are basically getting killed. So that's fine. Let's uh, pop that down to low. There they go. They're, they're actually not too bad about it. And let's leave behind the 29 long spearmen. Um, and like I say, we want to make sure the Seleucids don't border Adrissa. But I do want to go and fight the Dardanians too. Well, I think we'll have to go fight the Dardanians first. There we go. And uh, let's just retreat from that for a second. And we'll go deal with that in a bit. We've got a town expanding. Abu Lensiopolis over here. Nice. Rioting in Abdera. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now that'll get sorted next time. And uh, two settlements being besieged. Oh, what was the other one? Okay. Yeah, oh, by Dardania. And then... Yeah, that's that's okay. They're going to take that settlement. That's not a problem. Uh, we did know that was going to happen. Okay, cool. Right then. Let's keep these guys marching down. Keep marching down. I think we'll just all go and gather up at Adrissa. Um, and yeah, I think we're good now with in terms of our garrisons and all that sort of thing. All good. All good. All look decent garrisons. Good, 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 good. Nothing over garrisoned. All that sort of thing. Very nice. I do kind of want to take out the Ptolemies here as well. Because, of course... It's just a bit annoying that they have land here and they might attack us and bring like a full stack. If we just get rid of that, then they shouldn't ever attack us. Um, but yeah, but yeah, this just... Ah, Seleucids, just so annoying. But anyway, let's get on with this battle. This will be a nice large battle and it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Luckily, we have quite a large cavalry advantage so, yeah, it's just going to be all on the infantry, whether they can uh, stand up to these boys. But let's go. Well, luckily, it's a relatively open, flat battle map. So that is good for us. Let's get out. That's all, all the infantry we have, man. That is not good. That is all we have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. But luckily, we do, like I say, have very good cavalry. So, yeah. We'll be, uh, we'll be good. Let's get all of our sort of boys together there. And let's get these two together here. And we'll get the horse archers here. Look, a lot of micro is going to be needed in this battle. I'm assuming they're going to stand on that hill. Yes. There we go. As expected. Oh, God. They do have a lot of troops. Like, a rather large amount of troops. So, but once we get our cavalry into the action, we should be okay. I'm going to try and bring the horse archers this way. We're also going to bring our cavalry up this way. Looks like they're going to try and hug box. Are they going up this hill? Okay. I mean, I'd rather them not do that. Let's just keep on coming forward then. 
you guys actually can now fire. There we go. You guys should all be on fire at will. There we go. There, yeah, there we go. Looks like they're going to um, not try and hug box now. Go, go, go. Get there, boys. Get there, boys. And then hopefully we can fire our javelins into them. What is this up here? That is their general. And it's a Southern Illyrian general, which is not actually a very good general. So uh, let's just retreat from them for a second if we can. Hopefully we should absolutely rinse them with our javies. And there we go. We should be able to uh, surround them. Not a problem. Oh, go, 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 go. Four archers. Oh, dear. I told you a lot of micro was going to be needed for this battle, wasn't it, guys? And, uh, yeah, we've kind of failed at that so far. Uh, but that's one of the generals dying. And then we've got another general up here. We just need to get out of this. Just get out, guys. Get out before we get too killed. Go, go, go. Just come all the way over there. Should be good. Who are you? Oh, you're the uh, the reinforcement. Let's go after these Galatian warbands with our generals. We shouldn't be um, too bad about it. Let's get these guys into the fight. And luckily, our guys are taking an absolute battering over here. So we need to get into the back first. Let's go. And what do we have now? We've got Celtic Swordsmen. You guys go and deal with them. Bring our cavalry over this way. Let's get into the cavalry. Why is everyone retreating over here? What are they doing? You guys turn around. Fire at them. And it... Uh, is that... Okay, that's their king. I was going to say. I was going to say. I was like, uh, Roigos isn't in this uh, army, is he? That would be a nightmare if he was. Uh, but yeah. No, we've got light cavalry, all that sort of thing in here. If we can kill that general, we should be good on the rest of this. What is that? Rumfire Foroy. They should not be able to stand up to, um, to cavalry. So uh, here we go. You guys go and chase down them. You guys get them, and we should be able to clean up the rest of these guys. Tight battle, honestly. Quite a tight battle. Was expecting us to be able to beat that Rumfire Foroy a bit better than that. Well, let's just come over here then. Looks like we can't. Um, and then let's get into these guys. We need to get into them. Come on, boys. Go, go, go. This is a nightmare, really. Come on, guys. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, no, no. Get, get rid of the axemen. Get rid of the axemen. And uh, there we go. Straight in them. Straight into the slingers as well. You guys get after the Dardanian light cavalry should be easy. Come on, guys. You should be able to break them so easily. What else do we have to fight here now? Uh, quite a lot. Quite a lot. Let's uh, see if we can kill the Hippocontistai. And then who do we want to charge into? Let's just, let's just calm down for a second. Let's just calm down for a second. There's still a lot of their troops around. So we just need to be calm for a second. We can get into the Axemen. The Silver and Lyrian Axemen are also absolutely crap against um, against cavalry. We, we do have the the, uh, the Thracian Noble Cavalry, which is one of the best cavalry in the game. So, yeah, let's... Uh, okay, there we go. We're just starting to break all of these boys now. Very good. Very good. Let's get rid of them. Guys, get into uh, the Rumfire Foray over here. These guys just need to chill out for a second. Get rid of the Celtic Spearmen, maybe. There we go. Broke them instantly. Good, 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 good. And can we break the Celtic Spearmen too? Looks like that's everyone. Okay, that was that was a lot tougher than it should have been. Wow. But uh, we did destroy them. So that's good. This army definitely needs a bit of retraining, though. But I think we can maybe dance up to um, the Dardanian capital. Get rid of them. Let that area rebel. And then we'll be, uh, we'll be good. Well, there we go. A glorious little victory. We lost 500 men and killed 1,400. So I think a decent victory overall. And uh, yeah, let's get off the battle map. Well then, guys, what do we want to do with this army? That is the question now. I think we just try and get rid of this. I don't mind auto-resolving these battles, even though we lose a lot of men. Because this army just really needs retraining anyway. So I think we go another couple of turns, see what we do. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, let's do our building first, though. And Coralopolis, anything worth building here? The tavern, definitely. And then let's go down to the bottom. Abratros is under siege, so we don't want to build there. Capidawa over here. Probably just the communal farming, nice and cheap. Thomas, let's go for... 
I think we want to go for the law. And there we go. Anything else of interesting? Gen Ukla. No, let's leave that for now. Let's just build the market in there. Good. Let's uh, end the turn, guys. And now Dardania wants to become a protectorate as well. I mean, oh, thanks. <laughs> of course we'll accept it. <laughs> and Tylus is going to take this settlement. Oh, well. And another candidate for adoption. Of course, we'll accept that. Where is he? Is up here. Let's choose where he wants to go. I mean, Dionysio Polis looks like a good option, but Kalatis is slightly bigger. I think Kalatis is the one. Let's get you in, Kalatis, my friend, over there. And uh, we'll bring these guys down to Adrissia 2. Adrissa, should I say? You get into Adrissa. You go into Adrissa. Is that... Hmm. I thought we had another unit on the way. Did we not have another unit on the way? Oh, there we go. <laughs> they were hidden. There we go. Uh, they just occupied Arbitros. That's fine. Anything interesting on here? Um, nothing too interesting for us. That's good. So, yeah. How many turns left? Three more turns until the Seleucids get rid of that. Let's go for Marinea then. And like I say, we'll probably just keep auto-resolving all this over here. I'm not bothered about it too much. Um, because that army... It's literally the, the the purpose of this army is just to take these settlements. Um, like, what does it look like if we auto-resolved here? We won that as well. Well, let's uh, exterminate Lysomachia. Let's we'll destroy it once again. Um, and yeah, we'll basically just fortify this region now because now they can't get past here if they want to. So, have you got better walls? No, but let's get a land clearance because land clearance is cheap and they don't even have that. So then once we've taken these two, the Seleucids really shouldn't be a threat. And we'll get a head uh, warning because they basically have to go through Lysomachia to get to us. So, yeah, that's a good option. Definitely a good option. Um, now we've got loads of money, though. Now we've got loads of money. So I think once this army's done with Madutenopolis, they can swing back north to fight the um, Tylians. I don't know how you say it. The Tylians. <laughs> the the Tylers. Um, why have they got so many troops in every settlement? Bring them out. I want to fight you on the field, my friends. You fools. <laughs> but anyway, let's, uh, let's build from the bottom again this time. So let's go for Abdera, which is over here. And again, doesn't even have land clearance. Wow, the, the Seleucids really have not invested in this region at all. Let's go for roads there. Let's go for the sewers up here. Or Game, nothing worth building. Um, Istria, again, nothing worth building. Nothing, nothing. Tavern, there we go. That's good. Another tavern, good. Byzantium, again, nothing worth building. We really need some of these places to start upgrading to cities because <laughs> we're just building, like, nothing in most of them now because there's literally... Yeah, there's, there's, just, there's just nothing that's worth building. Philippopolis, do we want to go for a level 3? I mean, a level 4. I mean, that would mean that we can't get the Dai Swordsman. So, no, I don't think so. What barracks do you need? Fourth tier barracks! So, we, we have to wait until large city to get Dai Swordsman. That's not even worth it. That's nowhere near worth it. That's going to be in like 100 turns, bro. That's so stupid. Oh, dear. Like, because there's no point getting the Bessian Swordsman now. They're just a worse version of the Ronfair Foroi. Hmm. Fourth tier is just insane for that, that unit. Like, the Dia Swordsmen are good. They're not that good, though. They're not worth... They're not worth fourth tier barracks, I don't think. I mean, because they don't scare nearby enemy infantry either. So, they're just armor-piercing. Like, what is that? 30-17-17? Let's have a look at one of our experienced units of these guys. 30, 14, 22. So, Ronfire 4 are just objectively better at that point. I think we will just wait, though. We will just let, let them go rather than getting to fourth tier. Yeah, we, we, we might as well. We might as well. Um, let's keep on coming up then. Bessa Para, nothing worth building there. Nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. Huh, well... Let's end the turn. Then we'll save a little bit of our money and see whether we've got some better things to build next turn. And yeah, let's end the turn, guys.
And Pionia wants to nullify the Protectorate as well, but let's see if we can give them an ultimatum. They and they accept it once again. Nice. Well, guys, only two more turns until the Seleucids have to sally out with their elephants. Ooh, I am slightly worried about that, but that one was that, that one was more over our side, but it was even less losses than we've taken in some of these other places. Um, yeah, let's see if 20 long spearmen can do it. No, definitely not, actually. Uh, how about 20 long spearmen plus f uh, 60 archers? What about this? There we go. 60%. That's okay. That's not a problem. Let's go for Dionysus as well. Then let's go for the final one, Kipsella. And yeah, basically at that point, we've wiped the Seleucids away, apart from obviously Madutenopolis. So yeah, Tylus is besieging us down at Tylus itself now. So yeah, these last couple of turns over here are very important because... Once that is taken, we can then just go north again and start wiping out the Tylians. Tylians? I don't know <laughs> what, the right, uh, what the right word is for it. But Adrissa over here has built that. So we've literally built everything that we can in Adrissa. Let's retrain those boys. Kabile also is now able to get Romfire Fulroy. So what do we want to do? I think we want to go... Do we want to go for the Blacksmith? I think so. Let's go for that. Kalos now has a road. So yeah, let's uh, let's just do our final bit of building. And now we finally are making some money, which is always nice. Um, Suthopolis as well is another recruitment hub. So let's just keep on going. Let's get the cavalry stables in. Or do we want to go for level 2 Habelsis? that would be okay. Uh, Diopolis over here. Uh, yeah, I think some of these regions that are around our capital should definitely become... Um, like recruitment hubs too like diopolis would be a good one so we might as well build that in there same with Bessapara. let's go for that and philippopolis let's go for the gold mining complex there we go and then we have pretty much not much money left let's see if there's anything to build at the bottom just thomas which is not worth it at the moment so yeah it's there's not too much that we really want to build anymore because they're all just too low, too small. Ah, well, let's go for paved roads of Ankylos. There we go. And uh, yeah, Adrissa. There we go. Nice. Right then. I think that's everything, guys. So uh, let's end the episode there. I hope you did enjoy, guys. Please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. And I will see you all again on the next video.